astronomy and astrophysics. A European journal making its appearance with this issue merges a number of astronomical journals of long standing. Anal d'Astrophysique, founded in 1938. Bulletin Astronomique, founded in 1884. Bulletin of the Astronomical Institutes of the Netherlands, founded in 1921. Journal des Observateurs, founded in 1915, and Zeitschrift für Astrophysik, founded in 1930. When I started working in astrophysics, it was uh, 69, a long time ago, and the first paper I wrote in France was for astronomy astrophysics, which had just been started. If you don't publish, you're not known, you have no way to, uh, to disseminate your results, so publishing is essential. I thought it was an excellent idea to have a European journal, because I think in all countries in Europe we have been fighting to, to get the adequate recognition from our international colleagues, especially across the Atlantic. And uh, ANA was uh, certainly a, a chance from the beginning. My first papers, and actually I would say most of my papers during all my careers were published in ANA. And I remember these offices in the, in the premises in Meudon with uh, people helping the, uh, the scientists write their paper, putting them into the correct form. It was not the same uh, uh, techniques as, as uh, we have today. And uh, for example, we had to draw the, the figures uh, by hand many, many times. And uh, we had persons who were helping the scientists doing this kind of job. This is a circulation slip of a, a paper. This paper has been uh, rejected, but uh, this was an old form. We did our best to, to send them the, the comments, the referees' uh, reports, as soon as we get them, because we know that the authors are very anxious uh, about their papers. It was very simple. You got a paper, you read the abstract, you. Uh, glance through the text, see what it was about, you try to understand the conclusions and uh, then you thought uh, who else is uh, doing this kind of research. The things I looked for was uh, independence, never try to find some referee from the same institute and preferentially not from the same country but that, that's, that was a loser, loser uh, requirement. Uh, but to uh, yeah to to and I always also try to find uh, to mix uh, young people and very experienced people because sometimes young people uh, had a new uh, way of looking at things. On the other hand, young people are much more uh, intolerant and they uh, gave always they could give very very negative advice when you thought well can't be all that bad. The most satisfying part is the fight, the fight with, with the referee, when, when the fight is, is, a, is a fair fight. So you have your argument, the referee has his or her own, and then, and then you try to explain and justify your choices, your discoveries, and your, uh, your findings. And, and my, some referees might not agree, and, and again, I think this is a healthy part of, of the refereeing process. Um, and then this fight of convincing the referee that, that what you have done is, has a I mean, solid basis and, and your results are, yeah, I mean, solid as well. Um, I think it's, it's a really satisfying thing. In the end, during the process, it's sometimes really painful, <laughs> but in the end, it's really satisfying and it's like, okay, 
this is what I deliver, this is my work, uh, and I'm proud of it. So. The model of ANA is, is very much a community journal and um, uh, the board and the editors as well are, are very keen to make sure that we are um, uh, interacting with the community and we're giving back um, or we are changing the journal in, in, in ways that the community would like. Um, this can range from anything like you know making the submission process easier to providing statistics on turnaround times, that sort of thing. Um, and we're trying to make this as seamless as possible. Um, these might be small changes, but the cumulative effect um, is intended to be um, quite large as a whole. When I saw um, Astronomy and Astrophysics as a, as a journal, I, I said that uh, this is very, very interesting because you can see through uh, Astronomy and Astrophysics also uh, the, the, the joint effort of uh, European countries in, 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 uh, in um, uh, um, let's say, uh, realizing a community, European community of researchers. And, and this is amazing. Now you can follow every week there is an important result. You have to decide what you are going to try to follow, what do you do, etc. So there are enormously more publications and it's not that the quality is lower. It is absolutely not lower. I would say if anything it is higher. I think uh, like today Academy is moving towards a phase where exactly you, you publish or perish and so the number of papers you have becomes really important and sometimes uh, to publish a lot of papers you, you, you are re less careful about, uh, about uh, the science. So sometimes uh, it's more important to publish results than publishing good results. It's not that I can tell my student on a philosophical basis, look, you shouldn't publish just because you have to publish. You should wait until you have something serious to say that will... You don't need to publish 10 papers. It's gonna, one, very good, is sufficient. And then it will come back to me and say, well, this doesn't work. I mean, I go to a job application, there is a, another interview with a student. I have one paper, the, student, the other student has 10. You killed my career. So I can't do that. Ideally, I would like to. In a sense, I, I think it's not even enough nowadays to publish only because people will not read publications to the same level as they could read them 20 years ago. So in a sense, it's not just only publish or perish, but it's, it's also publish, advertise your work or perish because just putting it out as a publication, to me at least, often seems not enough anymore because it's not picked up. So you have to distribute it via emails, even ASOPH is not enough. You put it in newsletters, you, you go to conferences to put up talks and posters and get it into as many review talks as possible. Because publication alone is not even winning your positions anymore. I mean, that's my personal feeling, but maybe I'm too pessimistic in here. <laughs> When we look at the way science is made, we have several, let's say, pieces in this scientific producing pipeline. We have the universities where you educate people, but you also do your research. You have the big infrastructures, let's say ESO uh, for ground-based observations and ESA. And then, of course, if all this, where does it end? You know, it all ends in publications. And these publications, um, are then used actually to evaluate all the other aspects of this pipeline. So it's an essential part. It's an essential part of the of the scientific pipeline in any science-producing country. It's an excellent journal. It's one of the four uh, main journals, uh, general journals in astronomy, and it, is, it has grown. Uh, as expected, already. and it's it's really up to the, the, up to the same standard as the three the three competitors, you know. So uh, no, it's, it has really uh, fait son trou, comme comme on dit en français, makes it <laughs> take to uh, take take on its, its its place. If 
we, if we take a look, it's, it's remarkable. It's the only main astronomical journal that does not belong to one organi organization or country. It's in fact uh, the only truly international journal. It's a consortium of sponsoring organizations from 25 countries, uh, not European anymore. It's, that's an historical fact. Now we have countries from outside Europe. We're trying to build this identity of the journal for these many countries, uh, and that is not just European. No? It's European, Latin America, in Latin America there are not as many countries doing astronomy, uh, but it will be very important for, for to, to build an, ide an identity that is a big continental identity, maybe even more later on, and of a journal run by astronomers for astronomers. Now everybody say ANA! <laughs> Alright, now everybody jump at the same time. <laughs> 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 <laughs>